the election is over and a new Congress is in place, but so many things weigh on what's going to happen with this new Congress. And Stuart Welch is here. He's our financial expert. And he's looking at the six predictions that could happen with this new Congress. I believe they will. Good to see you. The good news is I predicted these the morning after the election. Is that right? So we'll see how they come out. All right, well, let's start. The fiscal cliff, we've heard so much about that. So the first thing you're looking at, part one, automatic spending cuts. What do you mean? So uh, the fiscal cliff essentially says the, the, they formed a super committee to cut expenses. Mm -hmm. And if they couldn't do that, then they had automatic spending cuts across the board, across a thousand programs, thousand government programs. And so the super committee didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And so now the, it, it's set to have these automatic spending cuts beginning January 1. And that it's deep cuts in both defense and uh, uh, Medicare. So what does that mean for us, though? Well, it's not going to happen. So what's going to happen, I think, is they're going to kick the can down the road. Now, this was a drop-dead deadline right. that they're now going to move. So my bet is that they, they're going to postpone those automatic spending cuts to sometime in 2013. All right, there's a second part of that fiscal cliff, um, and that is when we're talking about, we're talking about higher increase. taxes. That has everyone's attention. Everybody's got that. So uh, if they don't get this fixed, then you're going to have higher taxes across the board, middle income and the higher income. Uh, they're not going to get the, I don't believe they're going to get this done between now and the end of the year. I'm telling you if you know super committee couldn't get it done these guys aren't going to get it done in, in 60 days so you think it will the taxes will go up is that well what I think it, this is going to be a game of bluff and so the house is the Republican controlled house right. is going to come in and they're going to say uh, let's extend the Bush tax cuts through sometime during 2013 give us time to work through compromise mm -hmm. and the Democrats uh, the Senate's going to come back and say uh, we're going to offer a, a, a the spending cuts for the middle class and we want to raise the taxes for the uh, for the wealthy so a lot and it's going to be a game of bluff and we don't know who's going to blink first but I don't think either of them are going to get it done before the end of the year all right let's look at the death tax death tax right now the death tax is uh, you can have an estate a net worth of five million dollars and and no uh, estate taxes that drops to one million beginning January 1 they're again not going to get this fixed, but I do expect them to get this fixed sometime in 2013 and then make it retroactive. Because the reason why it matters is you're talking about people weren't, in, they don't anticipate this. It's handed to them when a loved one dies, and so you have these taxes well, and, added on. And one million is middle income America. People with a house and uh, enough life insurance are going to get taxed, uh, face a tax they never had before. Okay, that is not a good thing. All right, let's talk about Social Security and Medicare. Social Security and Medicare, so uh, you want to do deficit first? Sure, let's do deficit. deficit first. I'm so, sorry, I jumped ahead. So the ahead. deficit, uh, you know, everybody's worried about the deficit. It's, it's big talk, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of conversation going on around Washington, but they are not going to get this done. This is another thing that's not going to happen. They're talking about money like $500 billion, maybe a trillion. It's just a fraction of the of the total deficit. So they're not really talking. It's big. sounds like big money. It's not much going to happen. So that's going to continue to go. All right, now, Social Security and Medicare, the one thing that does get everybody's attention, too. Uh, everybody knows this is a train wreck waiting to happen. Uh, that none of these programs are sustainable. Because some, so if something has to be done. It may not get done this year, though. It's not going to get done in this four years, or certainly not in the first two years, because Republicans are scared to death that they're going to lose control of the House and then give Obama two years of both control of the House and the Senate. So they are not going to buckle on this one. They're not going to tackle these tough issues in the next two years for sure, maybe in the last two. All right, the sixth prediction you say is? Well, this has to do with uh, uh, investors. Yeah. <laughs> not going to happen. Thank you this for has, that. There this, we go. <laughs> this has to do with the uh, investors. And, and so it all sounds really negative. But the good news is the corporations are not run by politicians. They're run by business owners. And mm -hmm. business owners have done exactly what they need to do. Corporations are in really good shape. Expect a lot of volatility. But over the next four years, you should expect uh, uh, the stock market's going to do really well. Okay. That'll be a good final good note there. Stuart Welch, good, good to see you. Now here's JJ.